This is an image of Grimshaw Hall, built in 1560 by the Grimshaw family, who settled here after buying the land from the Crown. Now this hall is haunted. It's actually in private ownership today, so it's actually impossible to get close to it. But I'm standing here in the graveyard of Knoll Parish Church, which is about a mile away. Now the identity of the apparition which haunts Grimshaw Hall is known. Her name was Frances Grimshaw. Uh, her friends called her Fanny Grimshaw for sure. Uh, she was one of two daughters and she was murdered in her bedroom uh, by a jealous lover. Now back in 1993 when the hall was owned by the Southall family. I was actually invited to stay the night there, which I did. And I did actually manage to go inside her bedroom, the haunted bedroom. And I can tell you there is real paranormal provenance involved. There are cold spots all around the house. However, her bedroom is about two to three degrees lower in temperature than the rest of the house. Now that doesn't matter whether it's midwinter or midsummer, it's perpetually colder and there is a definite presence in that room. She's been seen a few times over the years, um, standing in a ball, ball gown, wringing her hands. Now, the location of her actual bedroom is here, this part, this one wing of the house. She was murdered, uh, as I say, by a jealous lover, and it's believed that she's actually buried in this graveyard. She's been seen a few times over the centuries. She's quite a benign spirit by all accounts, she's not malevolent. She was only 19 when she was murdered. Grimshaw Hall, haunted by the ghost of Francis Grimshaw, 1701 to 1720.